There's great potential in the United States because we have so much water that ranges from American Samoa and the Pacific to you know, the Virgin Islands that are federal waters that could be farmed. Just offshore of Newcastle, we have a, a small site that grows sugar kelp, steelhead trout, blue mussels, and this year we'll have a few sea scallops. Early on when we were trying to grow fish here, our experiments were focused on trout behavior. Fishermen would stop by and say, hey, what are you doing with those sea pens? What's in there? And we'd show them the trout. And that's where we decided that this might be something for them. I'm uh, Ward Byrne. I'm the captain and owner of the vessel Sugar Daddy. I uh, lobster fish, I tuna fish, and as of the past two years, I've been involved with the uh, UNH Aquafort Steelhead Trout Program. I had no idea what I was getting into, but I said yes, and uh, I'm glad I did. The partnerships we're trying to develop with the lobstermen and with the local industry, the working waterfront, it is crucial. They're stakeholders in the environment. We would love to work very closely with them to introduce this technology, to introduce training. And it's the wider community that we're wanting to work with. So they are the forefront of the working waterfronts within New Hampshire. And so we started looking at the permitting process. But in this case, uh, EPA stepped in and said, well, we have concerns about nutrients from the fish going in this river, and this river already has too many nutrients. We went back to the, the chalkboard, scratched our heads a little bit, and said, well, if nutrients is what they're concerned about, what can we grow in addition to the trout that could pull those nutrients out of the water? The fish nets are inside the floating platform. The perimeter of the platform, we can put in these lines that have weights, and then we create this biological curtain around the fish that then are eating the, the organic and the non-organic elements that, that are being released by the fish. For every ton of fish we produce, we have to produce three ton of kelp or mussels or a combination of both. It becomes a nitrogen neutral model. So we had done this for a while and, and we uh, enjoyed it and, and it worked and we got most of the kinks out and we're thinking about what are we going to do next, uh, maybe we should try something different and we're about to maybe, I wouldn't say we're closing down the farm but we're going to try something else. That's when someone came running down the pier and said hey uh, we want to buy this fish in, in bulk because it's, it's amazing and we had just um, we, we never considered the fact that the fish was good. We, we just wanted to, to grow it and see if we can get a clean, nice product out there and deliver it to market. Trout are, are very uh, robust. They're temperature tolerant. Uh, they grow quickly. And when grown in seawater, the flavor is spectacular. And all the fish that we brought to market uh, sell quickly. And people are always looking for more once we have harvested the cages. This platform was built in the mind that it was a size and scale and it could be located in an area where fishermen could stop by on their way to the fishing ground to feed the fish and then as they came back from a long day at sea could stop and maybe do some maintenance or harvest the fish and bring them to marketplace. The key here has been that this is a local thing, that this is something that's born and raised in New Hampshire, never leaves the state. It hatched in Ossipi, New Hampshire, it came down, we took it out to the farm we fed it a very nice, clean diet. Uh, we took care of them. They lived in a natural environment. We harvest them in a very humane and, and clean way. Two hours later, they're in the, in the store. Fishermen have interest in this, but they want to look at how much time commitment's involved, how challenging it is, the ups and downs of it, and then financially, at the end of the day, are they going to make money? Growing anything in the ocean is challenging. There's a very harsh environment. Uh, there are all sorts of rules and regulations to follow and, and we're just uh, chipping away at it. Uh, every successful harvest or every conclusion of a harvest, it's, it's, a, it's another victory. A lot of the fishermen uh, and my friends see my posts on Facebook, usually once a week when we do a harvest or out there, I'll do a post and, you know, they saw the fish in I think October 21st of 2020, we stalked them and they saw them when they were small. There was a lot of questions and then now they see them and like, you know, wow. If they can see the value of this and then hopefully one day maybe have their own little farm and do this and or their 
their sons and daughters come up and will have their own farm at some point in time too. We can make it work. We can find this economics, we can produce something sustainable to just supplement their incomes. Oh, if this thing, you know, could take off, I think it would be huge. You know, I think it is taking off. So in seven months, transform these fish into uh, food and it's pretty good, it's really good. Uh, if you look at New Hampshire, we have a very small coastline. You go to Maine, beautiful coastline, lots of islands where you have areas that are semi-protected. That's where this really has a lot of opportunity to go to. Hoping we're gonna grow this to, to, to a movement and, and hopefully deploy it in other parts of the world and it'd be incredibly satisfying to go to the Caribbean nation and just walk in there and see what they're growing and see how they're experiencing the concept. I think currently in the United States, it's challenging to grow fish in cages. And not that aquaculture is perfect, you know, every industry has its issues, but we're trying to do it the best way possible here. And, and I think there are great ways to do it, but you just have to do it right. I believe it's sustainable in the right conditions. I know a lot of farm fish have a bad reputation and these are not, you know, there's no junk in these pellets that we feed the fish. It would be something to be really proud of to be able to grow fish and bring them from local waters right to the table. So locally, it'd be pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see more of this in, in the coastal New England and hopefully uh, we'll have more steelhead trout and mussels on our plate when we go out to the restaurants.